there's always been a history of the craft and the kind of um, that attention to detail in Savile Row. And I think what's what's fantastic is the fact that certainly EPR and Terrace Hill and Kate, you know, we have have embraced that idea of that kind of that immense um, attention to detail and kind of pride in in the product that's being put on the facade. The tiles, once they've been wiped, go onto some scales and the quantity of glaze is weighed onto the tile surface. Um, this is to ensure that there's uh, continuity between every tile. Um, every tile after the firing process is so different in any case that we, we like to keep a certain, amount, certain parts of the process regular. Every tile has between 170 and 180 grams of glaze applied. Um, they're then wiped down, just again to ensure that there's no glaze on the ex external edges of the tile. These are then uh, dried off again and they're put into a kiln. The firing process takes uh, five days cool to cool, so overall they reach a temperature of 1300 degrees and they usually take around three days to cool back down to the state at which we can take them out of the kiln and box them up. They're then crated up um, dependent, dependent on where they're going on the building. There's a lot of variables that affect the, the amount of crystal coverage that you get. Um, by its nature, crystal glazes are very um, temperamental and you, can, you get a, a wide variety of results. So everything that we do through the processes, we do to try and ensure that there's not too much variation. But again, allowing the kind of organic nature of the, of the glaze to kind of shine through really. Even a degree or an atmospheric change or a, a draft coming in through the workshop can radically change the way the kiln cools or fires. Um, so yeah, you, you do get very different results um, and every single tile is, it, is completely unique. Between EPR and Kate, we've sort of decided to kind of embrace the, the spectrum of um, different results that you get out. So we're blending the tiles within the crates to really emphasize the fact that they are very varied glazes and, and, and they are you know, unique, every tile is different. The thing that's so exciting about this project is it's kind of re-engaging that idea of sourcing um, really focused handmade products locally um, and utilising them in a, in a, 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 on a grand scale.